So in this segment, we're going to be discussing a Labour MP who is deeply uncomfortable with child poverty, but refuses to do much about it. So that is not... Um, Let's talk about the two-child cap. It wasn't our policy. We didn't vote for it. I know the damage that 14 years of Tory government has done to children and... The- if, if you did know, you would do your absolute best to reverse as much of it as possible. And one of the things you would start with is the two-child cap. You know, this nonsense about they don't have the money is cap, it's lies. The way that many children are growing up. Our, the reason for our position on the two-child policy is that we have to get economic stability first. We have to make sure that we... The cost of getting rid of the two-child cap is around £2.5 billion. You know, If the Scottish government can afford it, why can't the rest of the United Kingdom afford to uh, get rid of the two-child cap? Ridiculous. We can grow the economy and take our economy out of the political instability that we have had. The, the economy is stable. It's stagnant, but it is stable. These are two different things. You can be at 0.0% growth. That's stagnant. That's not unstable, though, is it? I will never be comfortable whilst there are children in this country that are growing up in poverty. Sting says, not it? Oops, smoking that child poverty pack, fam. That's what Labour are going to be smoking. Because they're going to do nothing, nothing major to to get rid of child poverty. Certainly not. Based on what they're saying. Not whilst there are children in this country that are growing up in destitution. You know, it's not just poverty now. It's experiencing a childhood where the basic necessities of life are completely uncertain. So I don't think anybody should be comfortable with that. The question is, what do you do about it? Our plan is first, we have economic and political stability. So, that- so how long is it going to take for you to get economic stability? How long do these children have? You know, for, for, for every year, for every month it takes for you to get economic stability, that's more children living in poverty in that time. You could fix this. You could solve this really as soon as you get into government, but you're choosing not to. This is a political choice. That our economy can grow. If I was a minister tomorrow, if, you know, we are lucky enough to be asked to form a government, the thing that I would want to do is to reform universal credit because we were told... So originally, I think they said they were going to abolish universal credit. Help. Whoops. They were told, uh, you know, I remember, I think Starmer said before he would abolish universal credit. Now we've gone to reform universal credit. Families to thrive. We said we were told universal credit will help make work pay and will prevent poverty. And it quite evidently hasn't done that. So we need to review it and have, as Labour's policy is, a cross-government strategy to, to end and to tackle. You've had a long time to come up with a strategy. You should have come up with something by now. So on day one, you could implement it. This is ridiculous. How long are you going to keep these children in poverty until you figure out your plan? Child poverty. In our first steps, there are things that we can do immediately to help. Okay. And I know that our policy to have breakfast schools in primary schools will be an Im- Breakfast schools? You mean breakfast clubs? So you're going to you know, feed these kids like cereal and stuff like that. That's good. But it's not, you know... <laughs> unless they do things like, you know, expanding free school meals as well as making sure they have food to have when they go home as well. You just This is sticking plaster politics, as the knight would say. Ridiculous. This is a political choice. Immediate help to parents. Okay. But my goodness, no, God is right. We will need to do much more. Then you should do much more then. You know, you're doing the bare minimum. Even under New Labour, there was a lot, there was a decent amount of child poverty. You know, that's something you, you I didn't realise until I heard Marcus Rashford's story. Where he, you know, he he grew up in a very impoverished household. I was like, wow, I didn't even know under New Labour it was that bad. And I imagine under the Tories, we know under the Tories it's much worse. But you know, you can't complain. Oh, the Tories have made child poverty worse, and then offer very minimal solutions to solve it. You can't complain and then say, oh, if only there was someone who could do something. It's like you. That's what you're meant to do. You're the Labour Party. Children don't choose to grow up in poverty, and you're making a political choice to carry on. That's poverty. Just shameful. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Support the channel on Patreon if you can. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one.